this episode, Morgan encounters these boxes that have been left mysteriously. And they're essentially to help people. So is there good in the world remaining? Are there people like him, like Madison, who want to save humanity? We pack them, we drive them, we deliver them. The first time he meets Wendell and Cyril, I think Morgan's still thinking about heading to Virginia. Levees broke, roads washed out. But when he finds out from them that the storm was very bad, then he has a change of heart. I have people back there. Sarah and Wendell outfit him with a car and, and load it up with supplies and wish him luck. Morgan is in peril, really. On his way back to Texas, he changes his mind. And this episode is kind of an episode of two Morgans. It's Morgan before the lie, and it's Morgan after the lie. The bridge, it's out. I'm just going to come back. Jim has escaped Sarah and Wendell, but with a burlap sack over his head and his hands tied behind his back. That's not an optimum state to be out in the world full of walkers. So, you know, initially, Jim's quite grateful. Hey. What the hell, Morgan? Of course, as we come to find out in this world, no good deed goes unpunished. You can't protect what's yours. It ain't yours. After Morgan finds out that Sarah and Wendell kidnapped Jim, he just doesn't trust them. Thought about it. Jim makes a deal in exchange for giving beer to, to Sarah and Wendell. I'm not dealing without that chiller. Morgan! I think Morgan being abandoned is really a moment that reminds him of when he stood on that bridge at the beginning of the episode. And he had a choice. The bridge. We knew it wasn't out. So Morgan's kind of seeing a little bit of himself in Sarah and Wendell in this moment. Hey! He's basically left to contemplate what he's done and what what he's done means about who he is right now because he thinks himself to be a man of honor, and he's gone against his own code. Scared that if I went back, I would just make things worse, so. And he speaks his fear of not being adequate. The people back there need something he doesn't think he's capable of giving them. He doesn't want them to rely on him. He doesn't want to take responsibility for them, and comes to the realization that yet again, he's run away. That moment is very much Morgan fighting for a second chance. And he's aware that what he has to do next, he has to make that right. Wherever you are, we'll keep looking. You hang on, because we're coming. 